The K-808 stands as a recently introduced armored personnel carrier from South Korea. Hyundai Rotom spearheaded its development to fulfill the requisites of the South Korean military. The inception of this vehicle dates back to 2012. Sporting an 8x8 arrangement, it was initially referred to as the KW-2. Notably, it was created concurrently with the K-806, a smaller armored personnel carrier with a 6x6 setup, previously designated as the KW-1. In 2016, these armored units successfully completed their final qualification trials and were granted procurement approval. The initial batch, comprising 16 pre-production vehicles, was slated for delivery to the South Korean military in 2017. Full-scale manufacturing kicked off in 2018. These modern-wheeled armored vehicles took over the role of the aging K-200 series of tracked armored personnel carriers within the South Korean military. A strategic plan aimed to deploy 600 of these new-wheeled armored vehicles by 2020, encompassing 500 with an 8x8 configuration and 100 with 6x6 configurations. Additionally, both the K-808 and its smaller counterpart, the K-806, were earmarked for potential export. The intended use of the K-808 centers on rapid deployment units, operating in forward areas, while the smaller K-806 is geared towards defending rear regions and safeguarding convoys. The vehicle's hull is constructed from welded steel armor, delivering protection against small arms fire and shrapnel from artillery shells. The front section is likely capable of withstanding hits from 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. For heightened protection, supplementary armor can be added. Its V-shaped hull design offers safeguarding against mine explosions. Crew members and passengers are seated on mine-resistant seats. Furthermore, the armored vehicle is equipped with NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The fundamental infantry carrier is armed with a shielded 12.7mm machine gun. This armament might not be considered impressive by modern standards, but the South Korean Ministry of Defense intentionally selected this configuration to manage procurement costs. However, the K-808 can be adapted to support a remotely controlled weapon station or a two-man turret, outfitted with a 30mm cannon or other more potent weaponry, catering to the preferences of customers. With the capacity to accommodate up to nine fully equipped dismounts, troop ingress and egress occur through a rear power-operated ramp with integrated doors. Roof hatches facilitate firing and emergency exits. Loaded with cutting-edge technologies and driver aids, the K-808 armored personnel carrier derives power from a Hyundai turbocharged diesel engine, generating 420 horsepower. Positioned at the front, the engine is linked to a 7-speed automatic transmission with one reverse gear. The vehicle incorporates an automatic driveline management system, and its two front axles are steerable. Additionally, it features a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires. Capable of reaching a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour, it significantly surpasses the previous tracked K-200 armored personnel carrier, capped at 74 km per hour. Moreover, wheeled vehicles tend to be more cost-effective to maintain compared to tracked counterparts, even though the K-808 exhibits somewhat lesser off-road performance when contrasted with the prior K-200. Despite its substantial appearance, the K-808 remains fully amphibious, propelled in water by two water jets. It can traverse rivers and other water obstacles. Its maximum amphibious speed on water is 8 km per hour, surpassing the previous K-200. It's important to note that the smaller 6x6 version isn't designed for amphibious operations, mainly focusing on rear echelon operations. Beyond its foundational role as an infantry carrier, plans encompass various K-808 variants, including an anti-aircraft vehicle armed with 30mm cannons and a command post vehicle. Notably, Hyundai Rotom has showcased multiple developments, among them the Jupiter 120mm fire support vehicle, a 30mm anti-aircraft vehicle, and a 120mm mortar carrier. 
Variations include the K806, a more compact armored personnel carrier boasting a 6x6 configuration. Developed in tandem with the K808 under the same project, these vehicles share numerous components.